And stay in your lane. We ask these three simple questions. What's mine? What's theirs? What's God's? Let's consider those categories when it comes to three pretty important words whenever we're dealing with our spiritual lives. When somebody else offends us, when they hurt us, when we have a grievance against them, three words become important. Repentance, judgment, and forgiveness. All three of those are necessary and desirable whenever there is an offense between two people. And yet, which of those words do we own when somebody else offends us? Well, we feel like we own judgment. We think that judgment belongs to us. And so the other person is clearly in the wrong. We are clearly in the right. So we begin to judge them of what should happen to them. We judge their heart of why they did that to begin with. And we feel like judgment is ours. What does the Bible say? The Bible tells us time and time again, judgment belongs to God. That's not a job that you and I get to do. So as a step of faith, even when somebody offends us and we are clearly in the right and they are clearly in the wrong, one thing that is demanded of us is that we give to God what is God's. And judgment belongs to him, not to us. What about repentance? Well, we think that that repentance belongs to us in some way, that, that we should be able to repent for the other person, that we should be able to force them to show them how wrong they are, that it is now our task to, to manipulate them, to force them into what is their rightful action, and that is repentance. And, and yet, what does the Bible say? Repentance ultimately is between them and God. Think about the story of, uh, of Jonah. Jonah didn't want the people to repent, right? He wanted them to be punished for what was going on. And God showed up and sent him on a a wild ride basically to say, hey, their repentance really isn't your business. Now, I know you desire for them to repent. You and I, when somebody offends us, we want them to come to us and say that they're wrong. But if they do or they don't, that ultimately belongs to them. So what does that leave in our category? What is left is forgiveness. When somebody offends us, the only thing we control is whether or not we forgive them. It's interesting in the Lord's Prayer as Jesus prays, forgive us our debts even as we forgive our debtors. In the midst of everything he prays in the Lord's Prayer, the one thing that he follows that up with in the Sermon on the Mount is this issue of forgiveness. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. It shows us that this issue of forgiveness is a difficult issue that we are going to struggle with. And because we're going to struggle with it, we really don't have time to fixate on what other people control, their repentance, or to even think long about what God controls. That's his judgment. Instead, we have to work through what we own, what is ours. And what is mine when somebody else offends me is whether or not I forgive them. And if I will fixate and control that, that forgiveness, everything else will take care of itself because everything else ultimately belongs to God and then also that person. What's mine today? Whether or not I forgive. What's theirs? Whether or not they repent. What's God's? How he chooses to judge. Stay in your lane and life will be better.